Welcome back to my studios. Today we're going to take a look at a sample pack of inks from Ferris Wheel Press. Um, sometime last fall I, be I became aware of Ferris Wheel Press and uh, they're a company out of Toronto, the Toronto area, and they make a line of uh, high quality pens and an impressive uh, array of inks. And I've been very anxious to, to try them, to sample them. My local dealer didn't have the color, the blue color I would normally have ordered, so I decided to try a sample pack. So a couple of weeks ago, I ordered a sample pack of three colors, pumpkin patch, jelly bean blue, and tanzanite sky. I had heard that uh, Ferris Wheel Press really paid attention to their, their packaging, but I really wasn't expecting what I received in the sample package. I've received sample inks before, and, and they come in a small plastic uh, vial. But these, these are gems. These are absolutely beautiful. These samples arrive in a, a box th that feels like velvet. And inside, there are the three glass bottles with gold caps and gold embossed writing on the bottles. And in gold lettering on the outside of the box is their trademark, Fall in Love with Writing Again. The packaging and the presentation on this is absolutely beautiful. It, it's stunning. But how do they write? What are the inks like? So let's do some samples and do a little test writing. Let's see what it looks like. So let's start off by taking a look at the packaging and the attention to detail on these, on these samples. They're just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. They're like little gems. The labels for the colors, names are on the bottom. The colors are listed here on the back of the package. We start with uh, pumpkin patch, nice transparent orange. Then we have jelly bean blue. And last we have tanzanite sky. So we'll start our samples here. We'll start with the, uh, the Tanzanite Sky. I'll open it up and get my little glass pen. We'll try a writing sample. The ink flows very, very nicely. This is a very dark, purpley color. as I thought I had on my left on my pen. We'll see if we can squeeze a little bit out here. There you can see it's a deep, rich, purpley color. And here's the swatch I should have started with. Try the pumpkin patch. We'll start with the swatch this time. Beautiful. It's, it's it's transparent. It almost glows.
Once again, the ink flows beautifully. Not sure this is a color I would ever use myself. But it is a beautiful orange. isn't the ideal one to get a little spread like that, but you can see it, uh, it does the job. Now we'll try the uh, Jelly Bean Blue. Beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. Reminiscent of the uh, Twisby Sapphire Blue. beautifully. here with my wet finger and my damp finger. You can see that even when they're damp, even when it's smudged, it still remains legible. So what are my final thoughts on, on these inks? First of all, the packaging and the presentation of this stuff is stunning. The, it's way beyond any samples I've ever seen before. The inks, the colors, the colors are fabulous, as you saw. And the inks, they write smoothly. They, they, they're just very well behaved. I'm very impressed with these inks, and I'm looking forward to getting more. I'd love to hear what you think. Have you had any experiences with uh, Ferris Wheel Press? Leave, uh, your, leave your comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. In the next video, we'll go back to reviewing four more blue inks. But I was just so excited by this Ferris wheel uh, sample package, I just had to interrupt my, my series on, on blue inks. Hope you liked the diversion. Thank you for watching. I hope you found some useful information in this video. If you have, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. As always, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you soon.